It is two in the morning. Round of applause for me. We're doing an activity today at 2 a.m. because I cannot do anything productive until 11 p.m. Like nothing good happens to me before 11 p.m. I'm playing Fortnite. That's it. That's literally it. Playing Fortnite and eating. But it's 2 a.m. now, so it's time. It's time. Oh my God. It's time to do something productive. About a month ago, I ordered something very exciting. I ordered this. The second I knew the nail salons were gonna be shut down, I knew that I needed this. Like, I need this. So we're gonna be doing our nails at 2 a.m. for fun. First, I'm gonna file my nails. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna use this as like a nice little mat to do my, mm, that's ugly. I used to be huge into nail art. As a kid, I was huge into nail art, loved it. I would actually go to people's houses after school and I would do their nails. That only happened like twice, but I'm gonna talk about it like it happened more because it's kind of a cute, wholesome story. I was really into nail art. I actually had a nail art account. It doesn't exist anymore, so don't look for it. But I was like pretty good at it, actually. I was pretty good at nail art, so this might work out for me, but I haven't done my nails since I was in middle school, so this also could go really bad. I don't really care though because I have nothing better to do and this is kind of a fun activity. What is this? LED light. LED light. Nail surface cleanse. Do I need to do that? Maybe. <laughs> Why did I smell that? That was awful. I don't want to go get cotton, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of toilet paper. It's kind of reminding me of like how I am with cooking. I wouldn't be a bad cook if I just followed the rules and wasn't a lazy piece of shit. But because I don't follow the recipe or the rules, like I end up fucking things up. Can you guys stop? Having cats is fun until you want to turn on your camera and then it's just fucking annoying. So get out. Apply foundation. Here it is. All right, well, I'm nervous. This is gonna take forever because I have to do one hand at a time. And like when you're at the salon, they're working on the other hand while you're like doing one hand, you know what I mean? So this is gonna take forever, but I'm here for it because I have nothing else to do. My fifth grade nail skills are absolutely gone. This is kind of fun though. When I was like 12, if somebody would have got me this for Christmas, I would have lost my mind. What's been on my mind? Nothing. Nothing's been on my mind. That's the problem. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the fact that I have no thoughts anymore. Don't worry, like, it's not that deep. I'm just so painfully bored. I think the thing that makes humans, in general, kind of like, oh no, this is when things are gonna get bad. Sorry, need to pivot a little bit, pivot the conversation, because I'm painting with my non-dominant hand right now. It's not gonna be good. My right hand is gonna look like, ass and my other hand is gonna look like ass but like a little bit less ass. The thing that makes conversation in interesting is when you talk about like what you're up to, like what you've been doing, like funny things that have been happening to you. But when you're inside all day, there's none of that. Like what did I do today? I woke up, I drank my coffee, I ate some food um, and then I played Fortnite for eight hours. That's all I did. And guess how many times I won? Three. That's a big deal. My nails have a base on them. So far, so good. Nothing bad has happened yet. This is hella scary. I feel like there's no going back now. It's like, the color's going on. Low key, like what if I just got really good at doing my own nails? Like that could be a good hobby for me. I'm always trying to find new hobbies because like me playing Fortnite recently, like that's fun and all, but like that's not a useful hobby. It might be good for my mind. I feel like it might be kind of mind strengthening because am I just making excuses for my Fortnite playing? Let's talk about something else. I need to get creative with my conversation skills. Like Emma, you must have something up there. There must be something up there. Let me vent to you about what else I've been doing besides playing Fortnite. Cause it's like, that's not it. Like it's not like, like I'm mainly playing Fortnite, but like there are other activities that occur. One of them would be making different spreadsheets. I will give you an example. So I just moved. And so obviously when you move, sometimes like you have a different space that you're working with. So you have to like get new furniture. I've been doing a lot of furniture shopping and I made a spreadsheet about like what furniture piece goes in what room for no reason. But I found that I'm becoming kind of obsessed with spreadsheets. Still on TikTok. Made up my own TikTok dance today. Spent about 15 minutes on that. And for what? You know, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. I have not washed my hair in five days. 
my hair is five days dirty right now. And I'm telling you that because I just feel like I need to get it off my chest. So don't come for me about it. Let me have a safe space to vent. Can you guys fucking keep it down? How awkward does this look with this hand? Like it looks so weird because I'm so uncoordinated. I'm not ambidextrous. Here's what we have so far. This is one coat. What else should we talk about? Really gonna start pulling shit out of my ass now. This whole staying at home thing. It's been, actually I've, I've learned to appreciate it in its own way. I feel like I'm starting to like overthink everything I say and do. And I'm having a lot of deja vu moments. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know if I'm fucking crazy. I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy for sure. I think it's just I have more time on my hands to think about every single thing that I do. Me being really almost maybe kind of paranoid in a sense is making me better at Fortnite. So maybe it's fine. I'm getting a little bit of paint around the edges, but I feel like that's kind of inevitable. Oh, that works really well. Using the nail file, DIY hack. I remember the first time I got acrylics. It was for my eighth grade graduation. I wish I had a photo, but I got like the ugliest shade of blue that they probably offered. That was the first time I got acrylic nails. I feel like it was kind of my eighth grade graduation present because I know a lot of kids had like acrylic nails in middle school or whatever, and it was just so cool. It was two things were cool in middle school that I was not really allowed to have. Acrylic nails and belly button ring. Never had either. In retrospect, no regrets. This looks so bad. Like, it's really not great. I mean, like, if I'm moving them around, like, it doesn't look that bad. I don't really like my, my natural fingernail shape, to be honest. Like, I don't really like it. I mean, I'm stuck with it. What am I gonna do? Chop them off? No, there's no redos. I got these fingers for life. I had this nail salon I was going to for a while and every single time I'd go, I'd make an appointment. They were great because they were really cheap and they did a really good job. Long story short, the story is, is that I used to go to this nail salon all the time and it was like a good experience, I guess. But every time I would go, I would make an appointment and then they would make me wait anywhere between an hour to an hour and a half before they'd start on my nails. And it was a huge time. It would it'd take me half the day to get my nails done. Why are they still wet? They're still wet. I don't get it. How did, I followed every direction. I don't understand why it's not dry. I put my hand in the dryer or LED light six times. I actually put it in three, but for entertainment, I will be saying, that I put it in six. And what are you gonna do? Sue me? You can't. Take it to court. See what happens. Nothing. Okay, now we really have some time to bond because like my nails are about to be in this fucking dryer for the next six hours. I'm hungry right now. I'm hungry. Wanna know what I've been eating at night? I'll tell you. Crackers and hummus. Second snack. I've been getting these nuts. Almonds covered in almond butter. I also like to have a spoonful of almond butter. Why am I eating so many nuts at night? That's what she said. If this works properly, I mean, if it, okay. If the nails even dry, like if they dry, great. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Did I miss a step? Apply the foundation, did that. Cure for 45 seconds, did that. Put on the color. Put it in here for 45 seconds, did that. Put the top coat on. Did that. What's the fucking problem? I'm just gonna keep them in this dryer for as long as I can. It pisses me off when I do everything right and it still goes wrong. And that has deeper meanings. There's a lot to that. There's a lot to that that's deep. Why don't I tell you about my new ring light? I'm getting desperate. See this ring light? I just bought that. Uh, my other ring light I've had since I started my YouTube channel. I was having to tape it back together with duct tape. So I bought a new ring light, built it yesterday. It's been a complete homie ever since. It's been totally coming in handy. 90% um, of this foot is just gonna be me. Like this. They're still dry. Listen, listen. It was 2 a.m. at this point. I didn't know what was going on. Nobody knew it. Do you know what's going on? Nothing that I was saying made sense. They're still dry. I needed to go to bed, but I love that we're on this journey together. XOXO. <laughs> okay, it says to cleanse the nails with this nail surface cleanse. Maybe there's like a film on this. Okay. That kind of did it. Okay, got it, got it. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Do you know what, maybe I'll pose for a thumbnail for a change. I never do that. I always just like randomly screenshot things, but like maybe for a change. Fail on. Thumbnail. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck was that sound? 
thumbnail. How YouTubers pose for thumbnails. Okay, okay, my nails are done. Was it fun? Yeah, but like they don't look amazing. I mean, they don't look terrible. Like they're totally good enough to like wear around. Like I'm not gonna remove them. Like I'm gonna leave them on. This is fun. Maybe try it out. Maybe don't, I don't care. I mean, it's, it's not like I don't care, but like it's, like I care, but it's like not a big deal. That's a good way to put it. It's, it's not a big deal. Good little activity. Am I gonna go to bed right now? No, I'm not, I'm probably not. Probably gonna watch TikToks for an hour. Then I'm probably gonna go back downstairs. Then I'm probably gonna have a snack, i.e. my the nuts that I was talking about, maybe some crackers and some hummus. Might fuck around and have some of that. I miss my long nails. I don't feel like a bad bitch without them. There was a phase there though when I was making them way too long. Oh my God, they were so long. They were going out to like right here, it was crazy. I like, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know who let me do that. And then I brought it up to my friend. I was like, were you judging me when my nails were this long? Because like you should have been like, that's just gross. And she was like, yeah, we were all judging you during that time and I was like, oh. Okay, overall, that was really cute. That was really cute. It was a really cute activity. Like, the results aren't, like, as good as I would have wanted, but, like, at the same time, it's fucking nail color. Anyway, I'm finally gonna fucking end the video. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Ooh, the middle finger looks fly right now. Ow! <laughs> Goodbye.